In today's episode, I want to try something new. You know, pork shoulder or uh, slow roast, roasted Boston butt is one of barbecue's uh, staples. You know, pulled pork sandwich, slathered with barbecue sauce, that's what everybody eats all the time. But I feel sometimes it's lacking flavor and you know, we put so much barbecue sauce on it just to give it a little bit of flavor. You know, I don't, I don't know, I'm not so sure about it and I'm, I'm not a big fan of barbecue sauce myself. I really like meat that shines in itself, you know, that has a lot of flavor, a lot of character. So I wanna try wild boar and see if that makes an absolutely amazing pulled pork. You know, I'm excited about it because these feral hogs, they're basically just roaming around and eating grass and roots and acorns and nuts. So it should come out absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm really excited about this, and, but it's an experiment. So I don't know what to expect, but let's do it. This boar shoulder had the bone removed and it was tied together so it wouldn't fall apart while cooking. I'm seasoning it generously with Barker Barbecue's Sweet Lou Rub. I shot this video right after my brisket cook last week. And check this out. This is all the fogo charcoal that was left after a 14 hour cook. I'm just going to shake the ash, relight it and use it again. For today's cook, I'm setting the smoker to 275 degrees. And then I'm adding cherry wood. I love the reddish color and the sweet smoke that I get from cherry. Once the pork shoulder reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees, I wrapped it in butcher paper so it can finish cooking and steam in its own juices. I'm going to finish today's cook at around 185 to 190 degrees until the pork shoulder is totally tender. All right guys, our wild boar pork shoulder is done mm -hmm. and I have Ron here today. Hi everybody. To test it out, if it's any good. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do it. it. Smells good. I'll you want to take it apart? Oh, I'll have yeah, a glass. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. All right. Let's see. Well. Oh yeah. It's not bad, right? No. Comes right apart. Yeah. Probably just dig in there with your hands before, before, if you wanted to. Yeah. Let's see. Might be too hot. Oh yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's not super, super crazy tender. But I mean, it's pulling, it's pulling right apart. It's not crazy. Let's see. It smells there's... nice. It smells like, I mean, it smells like a regular pork. Yeah. So this is wild boar. Yeah. Okay. And this was, uh, this is from Texas. Okay. And they trapped it, you know, they didn't shoot it. So basically, you know, they do it like this um, pretty much. I think the point is that when something is hunted, right. you don't get to do like a, you know, medical Proper checks cleaning. on them right, and yeah. see if they have any diseases and stuff. Yeah. So when they trap the animal alive, they can still check, you know, if it does have anything right. or if it's safe for consumption. So you know what you're eating. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's kind of cool about this is it's, it's wild, is you know, it? it's a, a feral pig basically. Right. But at the same time, um, it pretty much, you know, ate totally natural grass. Right acorns, nuts, like whatever so pigs eat in the wild pretty it's, much. It's a controlled wild environment yeah. basically yeah. in a way. Yeah. And then they just trap it, check that it's healthy, and That's you get to neat. eat it. It's a nice color. Yep. It's a real nice color. A little, yeah. bit di little bit different than a regular pork shoulder. Let's make a little sandwich. Right. I got this stuff here from Kraut, Cleveland Kraut, uh -huh. red cabbage. So I want to try that out. Put a little bit on top. There you go. Thank you. Oh, this looks nice. Yeah, I love the color on that. I love red cabbage. Yeah. Oof. Being German it's heritage, amazing. my grandmother used to make red cabbage all the time. I love it. Grew up with it. That looks really nice, yeah. What do you want on your sandwich? Pickles? Uh, I think, yeah, I'm going to have some pickles, I think. 
There you go. Use those muscles. <laughs> These pickles are really good. I love them. Go one more. Pickles and pork, they go well together for me. I'll have yeah. some of that. I'm gonna try some of that red cabbage too, if that's all right. Yep, go for it. You know what? I'm gonna splash just a dash of barbecue sauce on top. Yeah. I mean, I really wanna, you know what? I'm gonna go for the boar just to try it, what the taste is like, because I'm really interested. I wanna find out. But then I kind of wanna enjoy the yeah, sandwich. I hit mine a little bit too. <laughs> then I kind of just wanna go for the sandwich yeah. afterwards. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna try a piece of board just by yeah. itself. Yeah. No, you have that. I'll go for this one. This one looks juicy. Oh, that's good. A little mm. different flavor. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. I was told this was gonna be gamey. I don't feel. I don't find it's gamey at all. No. No. So I just got a little. How are you describe it? I don't know how to describe it. A little you know, sharper flavor, maybe. Yeah. I was gonna say. That. Yeah. I feel normal pulled pork. It's a little bland. Mm -hmm. No taste. This, there is some taste to this, still yeah. mild. It's very mild, but there's more taste than regular pulled pork. Yeah, definitely. It's, definitely. Some, it's a little flavorful. Let's face it, when you make a pulled pork, you really have to rely on that seasoning that you put on it to, to make the rub really dark bark or and, ton and of get, a, get a lot of the flavor, and then a ton of barbecue sauce, yeah. 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 Just that plain piece right there, I had no bark on it and everything, but it still has good flavor. So let's try the sandwich this. now. Heck yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Now you're talking. That's good. Mm. Yeah. That red cabbage is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Great flavor. You know, great combination. It really is. I might have to add that into my rotation at home. <laughs> yep. They also they do some some other funky stuff. You know, sauerkraut and a whole bunch of stuff. Check them out. It's a pretty cool company. I will. Yeah. Oh, that's good. The pickles yeah. on there. You didn't put yeah. the pickles on you. That's good. Hmm. Hmm. No, we have a nice flavor combination. Yeah. And don't forget, guys, always grill your buns. You know, you want to have that, like, little bit of kind of char on your bun. That way they don't get as soggy and, um, yeah, they don't absorb all that barbecue sauce and that fat from the, from the meat. It just adds some texture. Yeah. And it takes it to a whole other level. Yeah, and then if you leave them on too long, they'll look like this. <laughs> <laughs> we make mistakes, too. Yeah. You know, um, that's okay, though. Better, better to overcook a bun than to co overcook the meat, right? This is not bad. I'll yeah. eat this. Oh yeah, my daughter would go crazy for that. That's 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 her perfection right there. <laughs> mm. Mm. That is a good sandwich. Yeah. You know what? By itself was one thing, but on that sandwich, that extra flavor, that's really nice. It really pops. Yeah. yeah. You know what it is too? On the wrap that we put on, mm -hmm. it was like sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. A lot of honey, a lot of sugar, um, cayenne powder, and stuff like that. Right. But with the with the bitterness and the acidity. You know, of the red cabbage mm -hmm. and the cucumber. Yeah, takes it to the whole. Counterbalances it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Very so, nice. and this didn't take very long to cook. I think we cooked it a total of about four and a half hours, five hours, something like that. Yeah, uh, five hours. Yeah, five hours. Mm. Sat for a little while. Probably could have used a little bit longer. Might have pulled apart a little, mm. pull apart a little bit easier, but yeah, it was a um, five-pound uh, wild boar pork right. shoulder, uh, pretty much. Uh huh. It came oh, in that net. Sure. That was pretty cool. It was, mm -hmm. in the, it was in the net, so it holds it together nicely. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, the bone is removed. Otherwise, it kind of could fall apart on you. Right, right, right. Oh, it's pretty good. Let me have, have yeah. one of these like crusty pieces. It's pretty amazing. Oh, this really, this is, this comes apart like really nice. Yeah. Mm. It really uh, it really rendered the fat out of it. There was a there was a big, big, big pile of um, oh, yeah. liquids underneath that one. Yeah, you know what? Next time, I have this yeah. idea. I want to cook it on. In like a pan and on a bed of onions. Oh yeah. Put the pork shoulder on top of that. So all those drippings oh. kind of base the onions and cook the onions. Then you have like caramelized onions, pork shoulder, and you can you get even more flavor. You know, you don't lose all yeah. that fat kind of dripping down into your grill. I wish we thought of that this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's real good. I bet that would be good though, a little bit like you said with the fat cooking down mm. and the onions cooking right in that. Oh yes, yeah, nice caramelized yeah. onions. I'm gonna have another bite. I don't blame you. Actually let me let me put, put a, a pickle, pickle on there. Yeah. That was just real nice. You know, you know, I just got back from South Carolina, and it's all they serve up there is pulled pork. I mean, that's 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 yeah. their specialty, you know. And it was really good. This is delicious. I'll tell you what. Yeah. And this hog, this uh, meat comes from Texas, you said. Yeah. 
Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, the pickle has a nice little touch, right? I'm gonna, gonna put, go? yeah. Also gives a crunch, mm -hmm. more texture. I love it. Mm -hmm. Really good. Hmm. We have visitors. We have like the fly, fly plague here. <laughs> yeah. They want to eat you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it is what it is. It's very good. good. Yeah, that was a good yeah. sandwich. I can't wait to eat the rest of it. All right. <laughs> yeah. At least we have a lot of leftover for dinner, breakfast, yep. lunch. Perfect. I might just say I really like your American flag cutting board. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. That's decent. really cool. Yeah, no doubt. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. And see you again next week. Bye. Bye.